Hello and welcome to Virtually Yours. And this painting is, look here, it is a almost two meters square and it was painted in Australia. The thing that I bring to this painting and the questions that I was asking about this painting was about layers and colors. So first of all, one aspect of the layers is the colors. You can see the very beautiful, luminous yellows and oranges and the rich blues as well. And these were created by painting very thin layers of uh, almost translucent paint. And then rubbing back after it's dried a little bit, then adding another layer and adding another layer until there are 12 layers. So it creates a glassy, stained glass kind of luminous effect uh, that is very vibrant when you see it live. What is really nice about having such a large painting here is that because of obviously not being able to exhibit in um, galleries right now and having to do things online, I can show you a lot of my larger paintings. I don't have to take them anywhere. Having said that, they are easily transportable if anybody is interested. The other aspect of layering that I've been exploring with in this painting is impasto. I love working with thick paint, with a knife, and working, doing uh, things like a wave or dams or dots, somehow creating a, a, a re almost like a relief sculpture. And so this is all the way through, there are weavings of these relief sculpture moments. The other aspect of the overall structure of the painting is looking at the body and in particular looking at parts of the body. So in a way it's, a, it's like a corporeal abstraction and you'll probably be able to see some body parts here and there. The other thing that I think is what I have really enjoyed um, challenging myself with was how I can weave melodic ideas into this painting. So you can see there are lots of little, uh, if you look up close, you'll see lots of little tiny threads of components that are strung together as if they are notes or types of gestures in music. So, for instance, we have the little dots. They can be thought of as little short notes. There are also these sort of arabesque-like quality red swirls, and um, I think of them more as an ornament in music, like a trill or a turn. There are many other aspects of this. The detail here is probably a little difficult to see, but on my website you can see a painting, of this, a picture of this in more detail, and so you can have a good close-up inspection. Overall, this is a large and complex composition. It took numerous months just to develop the idea. And then, of course, it took many months to actually execute the painting because of the waiting for paint to dry and making sure that it's not too dry, but just dry enough to take it to the next stage. And ultimately, it's a very vibrant celebration of life. This painting is called Harmelodic Reincarnation. And it's part of a series of paintings that I've been doing over the past probably 10 years that explores the idea of harmonic theory, which is an organising principle of free improvisation developed by saxophonist Ornette Coleman. And he actually says a theme that you might have, um, you play at the start, and that's called the territory. And then what comes after that has very little to do with that or the starting point. 
And that's the adventure. So in terms of the harmony, the way I think of these paintings is that uh, just like in Ornette Coleman's compositions, he will take a chord and he'll place it next to another chord. The musicians are asked to play this order or, or this structure, but they can play it at their own pace. So the way I've worked with the colours here, I've thought of the colours as, in a way, arbitrarily assigning a note and a colour. And then each colour that is associated with a chord according to where it's placed next to another colour. So although there seems like there may be quite a chaotic combination of colours here, they are actually highly organised. Very much like if you listen to Ornette Coleman's music, at first it may seem very chaotic and unstructured, uh, partly because it's improvised, but also because it's complex. But there is an order to it, and, and it is possible to weave around it with your listening and hear some of these really interesting complex structures. So when you see yellow here, you'll see it next to maroon. That, that's sort of one way. Blue you'll see next to an aqua or something like that. The other aspect of this is a performance aspect, which is for me very important when I'm painting. As a musical performer, I like to incorporate that approach into my painting. So these paintings are done relatively quickly as opposed to the large scale ones which might take a year to do. And they have to be done quickly because of the technique I'm using. When I apply the paint, I apply it with a, a type of a, um, a shading effect, but then the overall texture is unified and it creates this sweeping texture. And again, if you see it on the website, if you look up closely, you'll be able to see what I mean by these sweeping textures that create almost like you're looking through a pane glass window out at rain, but what you're seeing outside is a very interesting, unusual scene. It's not just grass and mountains and hills or buildings. And so it does, I have to make sure that the paint is not dry uh, but when I apply the next paint. And it's not done in layers, it's done very much when the paint goes on, I'm committed to it and I don't go back and change anything. So they are, in a way, also improvisatory in quality, which also follows along the spirit of Ornette Coleman's harmonic theory. I can also take this idea of the harmonic theory and apply it to colors on a very small scale so I can create interesting textures when I combine it also with this layering effect and so the idea is here using the 12 colors in a uh, permutated through the uh, associating each note with a note with a color and then layering those in very thin translucent paint waiting for them to dry rubbing them down and then adding uh, the extra next layer on. So in fact here I've got 12 layers of 12 different permutations of 12 different colors and it creates a very intensely active, for a very small space, a very intensely active um, experience and kind of a peekaboo effect. And this doesn't have to be done just in colours, it can be done in shades or one colour. In this case it's a bluey grey and the bluey grey colour is from very very dark, dark blue, almost black, through to a very pale, almost white. And this is also a, a very nice way of making something subdued but still very active using this harmonic color theory. And I can also take this idea of harmonic theory 
and apply it to sections of a piece. This is called Harbour City Get It On and it's a celebration of Sydney Harbour and all the goings on in the harbour. And there are sections here that are like patches. This is where for all its structure, all the things that are going on, there is this moment where things are more improvised. And so I can take sections of this and incorporate it into something that's a little more structured in, in the way that look here is structured with complex layering of ideas. There are so many other paintings that I'd love to share with you, but I'll just share this one more. And it is called Spring Window or Frühlingsfenster. And the idea of the window is so important right now because during lockdown, really the only way we had to know what was going on in the real world that we could smell and see and feel was by opening the window and looking outside. And the idea of spring too, it's normally a time of rejuvenation and renewal. And this, uh, because of the lockdown, it certainly doesn't feel like a renewal. It feels like everybody has to go inside themselves and work out what's important to themselves. And so looking out the window is a way of uh, creating a sense of, I'm not just little old me, <laughs> there are, there's a whole world out there and we're all in this together. And so, yeah, so looking through a window, a uh, typical kind of Austrian style old, old window with panels, and looking at the spring, despite all the things that are happening with us that are not very, very good right now, spring still comes through, the leaves green, the blossoms, the birds start singing again. And looking at the window from the other point of view, from the other perspective, as we walk through the city, as we walk on the footpath with no one else, uh, barely any cars, um, we look up at the windows. We can look up now because we're not going to trip over anybody else or a bike or a scooter. And we see lots of activity going on in the um, inside the window because everyone is staying home. So we have people planting flowers and uh, for their balcony or for their windowsill. And we have lots of activity looking as we look in which gives us a sense of connection as well. And I think also there's something about the communication that we share. Um, it looks in a way like there are three, almost three figures. And uh, when I was painting this, I was thinking of my two sisters. And we all live in different, same continent, but we all live in different countries right now. And even if we wanted to see each other, we are not allowed to, we're not able to. And, but we still keep in contact. So we have very similar ideas, similar viewpoints, uh, similar outlooks, similar interests in art and music and dance. And, but we're so separated right now and we really feel that separation. So what we do together is we do little projects and we, Obviously, we communicate through social media. And so, in a way, this is my um, expression of my sisters are very close to me. We are very similar, but we're also separated and we're learning this type of separation. So, in a way, it's a celebration as well as um, an expression of the times. And there are so many other paintings I want to share with you. But I hope you really enjoyed my little guide through some of the paintings. And if you are interested in chatting any further or if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me and the contact will be in the video information below. Okay, thanks a lot.